Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here, and I'm doing a movie review this week in honor of my cat, Maple, who's a male, by the way, a black and white cat that I had him since 2001, after I lost my other cat, Alex, who was a female. And I had her for only a few years uh, during high school. But this cat had lived a very long life. We had him all this time, even before we started getting more animals. Like we had another cat named Amanda, who started getting kittens. And we actually picked one, which it was a uh, black and with a mix of brown, brownish white, named Lane. And we of course had a Chihuahua dog named Turok. So we had like three pets when we were living at our old place uh, with our grandmother before we wound up finding a new place of our own where our grandmother had lived at her own house but she has since moved to another place who's been and she's been living there for eight years now because that place has already been demolished yeah, I already explained that so when I uploaded that video back in 2013 and I did post the two videos of him, you know, along with Lane, uh, back, which was actually recorded in 2011, but I posted it in 2012, so that way you'll see exactly how my cats were doing at the time. And I know we've been getting a lot of animals uh, later on with uh, our Chihuahua dog, Tintin. He recently passed away, sadly, but she passed away earlier in March, and we now have a new dog named Lucina, and and then we now have, and of course we have our other pets still with us, uh, Cupcake, um, Jack Russell Terrier, and our black cat, which is my sister's cat, Kiki. So we're doing okay for right now, but Maple, boy, I really miss him so much. He, he was very special to me. He was there when I need him. I got to feed him. And I got to hang out with him at times. And no matter what. It's, and I'm glad to see that he took care of Elaine and everybody else. And my grandmother. So. Really going to miss him so much. So in honor of his passing, and boy, I wish he had a chance to see this, if they gave him a couple months for him to live, I'm about to review a comedy that features a kitten who's a tabby named Keanu. Now, I was very curious about this comedy after seeing all the marketing that went into, I mean, with the, those movie poster parodies, such as The Martian, The Revenant, Mad Max Fury Road, along with The Big Short, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Bad Boys 2, Scarface, Captain America Civil War, Speed, The Matrix, and of course, Deadpool. <laughs> so I thought that was really interesting to actually see such a cute tabby that just started posing all these... Uh, posters of of all the 
the characters from the movies and I thought wow this is really interesting and also because this is their first film debut of the two comedians who were both former cast members of Mad TV during its last couple seasons before it got cancelled and they actually started their own sketch comedy that's on Comedy Central name name Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele and I didn't know about them at first because like I said I, I don't watch uh, Comedy Central that much although give or take I I do watch it like maybe once in a while or so but I probably would have had a chance to check this series out and I wish Matt TV was on the air already like in reruns but even by that time when it was on Fox I didn't have a chance to watch it because I know the show was going downhill and well I was mostly busy watching other shows back then too and I was in college mostly it's true yeah I was actually watching Adult Swim at the time too <laughs> so that's why I didn't have a chance but oh well but it, it sounded like an interesting comedy I mean, when you get to see two very talented comedians uh, posing as gangsters in order for them to save their beloved cat that that he found, the stars Keegan Michael Key, Jordan Peele, with Method Man, who's a rapper, and he was in the film How High, Tiffany Haddish, Daryl Britt Gibson. Jason Mitchell, who's been best known for his role in Galaxy Quest. Jamal Machi Neighbors. Will Forte, also from Mad TV, that Keegan Michael Key and Jordan Peele were in. Louis Guzman. Mia Long. Rob Hubert, with. Um, a special cameo appearances especially one that's uncredited Anna Ferris from the movie scary movie one two three and four and several other comedies it's written by Jordan Peele and Alex Rubens and it's directed by Peter Atencio the movie begins when a pair of assassins known as the Allentown Boys, Smoke and Old Dresden, had entered inside a drug-possessed facility that's run by King Diaz, who owns the drug cartels, and has a tabby kitten named In Inglacius. The Allentown Boys have killed everyone inside, along with Diaz, until the police had arrived. The cat escapes all the way around downtown LA and winds up being safe inside a small neighborhood where we meet Rel, who's played by Jordan Peele, who's just been dumped by his girlfriend. He found the cat inside his doorstep, adopted him, and named him Keanu. Loves the cat so much that he decided to use the cat as part of his own calendar that he's actually making using all these uh, movie parodies of every single scene such as The Shining, Reservoir Dogs, Heat, and every other kind of movie that he's done. Yeah. Which I, I thought that was pretty clever too because that explains all the the movie poster parodies that we saw of, of that cute little kid. Anyway, Rel's cousin Clarence, who's played by Keegan-Michael Key, I came over to cheer him up, but he meets Keanu as well, and Rel had just became so happy that, you know, everything just made up as well. So two weeks later, Clarence's wife Hannah, who's played by Nia Long, decided to go out of town with their daughter, along with um, a family friend, of their husband and daughter 
by leaving Clarence alone, while Rel, already taking care of Keanu, decided to take Clarence out to go see a movie, which is a Liam Neeson film called Substitute Teacher that was playing at the Cinerama Dome in Hollywood. Yeah, I thought that was really clever that they put that in. And just tell him to just be himself and loosen him up. So that way things will be good for the better. But that is until when they finally returned back to Rel's house, they found out that his place has been trashed and Keanu is missing. So they went next door to the Reed dealer, Hoka, who was played by Will Forte, just after they contact the police in order to find Keanu, who actually reveals that the 17 St. Blip, a local gang, had may have been responsible for stealing Keanu and trash the place. So they direct so Hulka had directed him to a, a local strip club where Rel and Clarence decided to create their own persona, you know, posing as gangsters by calling themselves Tectonic and Shark Tank. They met High C, yeah, you know, the food drink, who's played by Tiffany Haddish, who directly took them to meet their game leader Cheddar, who's played by Method Man, who mistakes them as the Allentown boys. Cheddar actually has Keanu by calling his name New Jack, yeah, named after New Jack City. They both asked for the cat, but the only way to do so was to have a plan to actually have the blip sell a new drug called, and you're going to get this, holy shit, in order for them to, to pay enough money and to get the cat. So they agreed and they decided to work together along with High C and three other game members, Trunk, Bud, and Stitches, you know, they were all played by uh, Darren Britt Gibson, Jason Mitchell, and Jamar Alachi Neighbors <laughs> to do their task by going inside Hollywood Hills to, to make a sale. And during that night, and once they went there, Clarence decided to stay just to introduce the, the game members to, to his music of George Michael. Yeah, because he had all the songs on his iPod. Yes, yeah, since he's a huge George Michael fan. Unfortunately, you know, he actually describes uh, the artist as <laughs> if, if he was actually black. Yeah, I know, they were going for all that jokes. So, Rel and High C decided to make a sell by going inside a celebrity's house. And it turns out to be, as we speak, Anna Ferris. <laughs> yep, Anna Ferris playing herself, um, just taking some drugs uh, with her friends, and decided to play True for Dare, which apparently this whole thing backfires once um, the whole thing went completely out of control. So that's where it leads to a killing spree. They all escaped and they wound up inside back to the local strip club where they're just having fun, you know, shooting some fireworks and doing whatever they can. And while Clarence had took some drugs, which suddenly <laughs> he winds up inside, get this, a George Michael music video and all this other stuff. But just as soon as the Allentown boys had arrived just to go after just to go after Keanu, that's when Clarence and Rawl had been glorified by them, which actually happened just after um, they took the cats, since um, they almost uh, they almost blew the cover <laughs> by all, when when Cheddar was offering them more money. But by the time they were about to kill the Allentown boys and and escapes with the cats, the gang had arrived and they were about to uh, already found out the, their identities that they just 
and they just kidnapped uh, Hulka. They decided to take them inside the King Diaz's cousin Bacon, who's played by Louis Guzman, by offering Clarence and Well to supposedly as the Allentown boys, but but basically demands Inglacius. While Cheddar refuses their offer, he starts a gunfight between the two gangs. While Clarence and Rel had made their escape, until Rel had once up um, taking the son's car with Bacon inside, who just took the cat with them, and Clarence was about to steal a car just to go after them and save Keanu and Rel. Just as soon as they went all the way inside Clarence's house and they crash into them. And before, just before, uh, yeah, just after they caught uh, Bacon at the scene of the crime. And I'm going to leave you at that because I thought this was a very funny comedy. I mean, despite of its silly premise, because they definitely have great chemistry together from Key and Peele, you know, after their sketch comedy and Mad TV, they really do show themselves that they could definitely do something like this. And hopefully they'll start doing movies together in the future. So, I guess you could say they were like, you know, a modern day Keen and Kill or yeah, Laura and Hardy or any other kind. So, I could leave it at that. But man, the real star of the film definitely belongs to that beautiful kitten. That tabby cat that they named them Keanu. And yes, I mean, you just want to hold this cat, play with him, and do whatever you want with him because this is just one cute kitty. <laughs> and I definitely love the moment when he was about to save uh, Rel, and that was towards the end of the movie, what I just mentioned. And was about to attack uh, Bacon, <laughs> played by Louis Guzman. So that was like, wow. <laughs> um, um, it has a great cast too. I mean, Metford Man did a great job playing Cheddar, uh, along with Tiffany Haddish as High C and and all the rest. Although I, I thought that was really. Uh, clever for for a movie to actually use uh, a lot of names like high C cheddar and all this other stuff you know for for a game name so it's like wow they, they really had to come up with something to make it look you know interesting for their nicknames um, had a lot of great action scenes in the film I mean that this is what they were gonna go for and it works and it's not a buddy cop film it wasn't meant to be it's basically it is a buddy film alright so I, I thought that's interesting that they were going for a whole different level because they're really just cousins you know cousins you know just uh, hanging out together you know, like brothers so that that's really interesting because um, I don't think we hardly ever see any movies where they use cousins um, as buddies to just hang out and and do whatever they want or or even um, <laughs> pose themselves as gangsters. You know? So that's something I never thought I'd seen before. So that's that's a plus. Um, the cameo. Um, Anna Ferris, I mean, I'll give you this though, she she was funny in the film, even though it was basically just another worthless cameo, but I guess I could live with that. But it seems to me like she was just there just to get killed. <laughs> but, after all, I mean, this is the same actress who, who was in Scary Movie, um, as well as all the other comedies. So I, I guess it's interesting that, you know, she just want to play 
herself, um, but she acts more like a drug addict, so I thought that was clever. And yes, it does have a surprise where we begin to find out inside uh, that dream sequence that Clarence had when he was taking that drug. And, but I just don't want to spoil too much of it. But that's okay. It's I mean, you just got to see the film for yourself to, to just give it a laugh. But. And of course, they started playing some George Michael songs, which I thought that was interesting because... The movie Deadpool actually did that too with Wham, so that was perfect timing there. The only thing I could do without was that the cover version of Tom's Diner. I mean, this time it's being sung by Britney Spears. Oh God, anything but Britney Spears. And that was at the the scene where you know they went inside Ann Ferris's house. Yeah. And that just didn't work, but that's okay. I, I wish they had picked uh, the original song better. But the music, of course, was done by Steve Jabowski with Nathan Whitehead, so they definitely know how to create this wonderful s score that just seems fast-paced. But anyway, it is a fast-paced comedy. I just really enjoyed it. I mean, I I wish uh, my cat Maple had saw this. And if he was still alive today because man it, it just would have been cool but anyway check it out so I give Keanu four stars I'm Joseph A. Sabora and I'll see you later bye